This is a quick video that is designed to explain to you how to create your own version of NWP C3WP Digital Student Using Sources tool using Google Forms. So to begin, you can go to the Digital Student Using Sources tool page on the C3WP website and you'll find that one of the first or the first resource available to you there is a way to create your own digital student using sources tool. So I scroll down just a little bit and I'll see a button that says create your own digital student UST here. When I click on that button, it's going to automatically take me to a place where I can copy the document using Google Sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and click on make a copy. It takes just a minute for this to load, but what it will do is create a version of the Digital Student Using Sources tool and automatically put it into your own Google Drive. What this means is that you'll have your own version that you can edit, that will be saved for you, that you can use to send to students and name and rename in many different ways, um, and to also ensure that you can collect your student data um, and keep it separate from any other teachers who are using the Digital Student Using Sources tool. So this next step is a little bit backwards because we're going into the copy of the Google Form through Google Sheets, but from here I'm going to head, go ahead and click Form and Edit Form, which will automatically then take me to an editable version of this form. I want to make sure right away to rename this so that I know that this is my version and I also like to keep um, a master version that I can copy and rename for my own purposes. So I'm going to call this one Mrs. Bear's Digital Student UST Master. From there I can create as many copies of this as I want to for different rounds of the student using sources tool so as students use it multiple times over the year I will maybe want to name those by round A, B, C, D, or round one, two, three, four. I can also create different versions for each class period. So if I'd like to um, have data just by class period to look at with students, I can do that too. So once I have my own master version created, I can also edit the questions if I want to add other information or additional questions or you know whatever else I might want to change about this. So um, you'll see that. Now how I make copies is I click up here and I go to make a copy, which will make a copy of this that I can always rename just like I did for the master. Um, and then one other thing to know is that once you've created your editable version, you send it by clicking here and getting a link that you can shorten and then copy and send to students. And that's how you'll get a link to the form that you want to send to students when you have it ready um, for them to enter their data as they're analyzing their own papers or papers of their peers. So that's it. Really pretty simple process that will make it so that you have your own version of this tool in Google Forms, like I said, to edit as you see fit and also to organize your data in whatever way you want to.